so I just, I finally unzipped my folder of fraps and I thought just to take a look at the software and get my hand on it, I would show you guys my Minecraft world. So let's go in here. Um, I have a couple different worlds. I don't know why I still have the demo world in there. I have a flat world just because uh, I use it to make stuff sometimes. I have one called Beacon. Uh, that is a reference to Ruby for sure. Um, I can't remember much about it because I haven't played it in a while, as you can see. Um, my main world, which I'm going to show you, is Valhalla. Um, and then I also have a weird creative mode just when I want to like play with TNT and shit. And that is called Green is Not a Creative Color. I make a lot of references in naming my Minecraft worlds. So, anyway, let's show you Valhalla. Alright, oh. It is dark, and I am not near my home. I for oh, I forgot about this. Oh, I was exploring the world, so... Um, Let's just try and get back home, I guess. Fields. That looks good. I think, if I'm correct, my house should be across this field and up there. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Yep, there we go. So that up there on the hill is my house, obviously. I have a crap load of chickens and cows around here, and I made good use of that. And I will show you in a sec what I mean by that. But first, I will go over here and show you that right down here, I have this big walled out pond kind of thing with um, all my wheat and some sugar cane and lit by torches, obviously. And then a random crafting table. Uh, and then if we go up here, we got my pit o- oh, here, hold me. We got my pit o chickens and my pit o cows, my Edgars. Look at all of them down there. And actually just slayed a bunch too, um, which is why I have like 42 meat and 44 chickens. Um, and I like to, it's just easier to keep them in a pit because when you're breeding, the babies can actually escape through the fence posts I found out. So I was like wondering why I kept missing a ton of them. Um, and I had to make the cow pit like way bigger than the chicken pit, obviously. So then, um, if we go down here, I'll show you this in a second. I'm going to show you my house first, but that actually leads to like a cave system. So that's pretty nice. That was just me just mining to mine. Um, got my one block tower of pimps so far. Do not have the rest of that gold. So anyway, that's this is my house. Um, frame is birch wood and I think oak. Three stoves, an anvil, because I already had to fix my diamond pickaxe once. Um, cake, just because I had all the ingredients. Uh, iron block, my bed crafting table, stairs, upstairs, and it's literally just that. And then one more outside. But it's got a little balcony. See all the stars, and you can see the ocean over there. A lot of water in this world. A lot of land, but also a lot of water. Um, and I think you saw, but I have a, uh, got my nether portal right there. Um, so let's go down here and just take a look at the, the mine real quick. I need to put some stairs in here. I feel like it would make it better and easier, um, but I also don't care that much. So that actually goes like, when you go straight down, that actually, I can't remember how far down that one goes, but that one actually goes to bedrock. Um, because I was just trying to find iron and coal and stuff when I first started up the game, and that's generally my tactic. If I can't automatically find a cave system, like, that is led from above ground, um, we are in peaceful, so we should be good. 
And yeah, I just have this really lovely cave system right down here. So you got some water down there. That doesn't actually go anywhere. You can see that right there. More water. And it's just, there's a lot of, there's a chicken down here somewhere. There's just a lot of stuff going on, man. There's, I've played this world for a good amount of time so far. Still have not explored like most of the wings. Um, so that's really fun when you just have one of those ever expanding caves. Cause I think like, oh, is that gold? I think that's gold. Maybe it iron. Maybe it iron? What? Um, but yeah, so like one of the most um, underwhelming things is when you find a cave in Minecraft and then it just like stops. <laughs> Like, you think it's gonna go and branch off, but no, it's just like one little hole and just goes down a little bit and then it just closes off. I'm hoping that uh, this cave will actually lead me to um, a, a dungeon or um, uh, abandoned mine shaft, so that would be pretty cool, because I love exploring that stuff. And there's my chickens, very noisy. And look at that! The sun's coming up over Valhalla! <laughs> and the moon's going down. Um, but yeah, so I have a pretty nice world. I actually, what I'll do a lot of times is when I'm uh, beginning a new world, is I will, you know, name it and spawn it and then check it out for a little bit. And if I can't find a good place to, like, put my base camp um, within a couple minutes of just walking around the land, I'll generally just stop and start up a new world. Alright, and so as the sun rises on my kingdom, I will log off. Um, assuming that this works alright, I'm thinking of actually doing some Minecraft Let's Plays and stuff. And there's my phone saying Janelle Monet, so I'm gonna go, guys. Bye-bye.